Ah, the French champagne. The eagle might have been better if they weren't trying to be so serious, that they weren't trying to, again, like when he's at his garrison at the beginning of the movie, and it's this interesting sequence. Like that first part of the movie is, is good. Yeah, it's yeah. a completely different movie, yeah. And then and then he gets injured right away being overly brash. You know, he's trying yeah. to get his honor. You get you understand his motivation. Yeah. And then, but also and then militarily suddenly it's a million dollar baby. Smart. And he's never going to walk again and or whatever. I was like, I was like oh my God. For, for three scenes. Yeah, and I was like, oh, this is boring and lame and not the movie that I was kind of hoping I was going to get to see right now. Um, yeah, that's true. They set it up as like a, a crazy, gory action fest. Yeah. Um, hey, he and then it becomes a, a different movie. What's that? And, and they he give us a little a bit of rat. it. Yeah, yum. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And they give us a bit of it. They give us a bit at the top, and they're like, that's gone forever. Yeah. That movie isn't happening anymore. <laughs> now it's this. Okay. This is a man's okay. emotional struggle to find his purpose in life and to redeem his familial honor. It's going to be more about seal people than you thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. So, I don't know. I just, I also, I also want to no. say, if you're going to take that approach to to that content, and you're going to try and make like uh, a, a like a real character drama out of out of a Roman story, then at least give everyone from Rome a consistent accent that isn't just like general American. Well, that was at the point, least though. That was the point. Yeah, it was because it is uh, it is during the American occupation of Iraq and Afghanistan. So they're they're making a point to make the occupying Roman forces be American. Sure, uh, they sure. are. It's the, yeah, I guess, the director said like, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I get it. I mean, and it's like, an that's... easy choice. To yeah, just hire American. Yeah, of course, it's an easy movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, but I, that's, but Ben Hur does the same. Ben Hur makes the Romans Britons because at that time Americans yeah. still thought the the British were like pompous assholes, and it makes all the yeah. Judeans Americans. Yeah, so that Americans feel like ah, all right, we're the Christians. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yes, but I will say that at least, at least giving the Romans a different accent helps me invest in the world a little more as like as a period piece sure you know what i mean I, yeah i mean I, I don't i don't really care if i'm being honest but people sometimes nitpick about this stuff a bit and i i generally don't care that much about it like I, it's a movie like you know like i don't know unless you're gonna cast everyone that's why like it was actually nice um the one actor in ben-hur um esther like her name is haya Haro. Yeah, she's israeli yeah yeah she's mm. well she's palestinian Palestinian, really? Oh. Yeah, from what I huh. from what Fuck I read me. about. Fuck me, I'm about to get a lot of complaints. <laughs> You're oh not, man. No one's watching. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I, I I looked up and apparently she only, she only passed away like this year, like this February. She really? Oh, yeah. oh, I think I remember seeing that. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm not going to talk about her performance in this category. But yeah. but hearing her voice, like the way she spoke, it, even I was like, oh, it would have been nice if that was more present, maybe. Mm -hmm. But usually I don't mind it. But when there was one person who had a bit more of a real feel to the to yeah. the to the movie, it made it stuck out in a way that made me want it more and made me kind of bothered with Ben Hur's "Get off my lawn" type. Vibe. He's the son of God. I'm, I'm the son. <laughs> He's the son of God. Marcellus. Damn it, Marcellus. Damn it. I'm from Judea. I'm from Judea. He, Miranda noted that he sounded like Zap Brannigan a couple of times. He, does. he must have been a model like for, for Zap. You're not going to take away my family. Where's you know, my mother and sister? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Do you know what they called uh, the, 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 the set crew? The onset crew had a uh, nickname for Charlton Heston. And it was, it was uh, Cornpole. And I didn't know what, what that was. And I looked it up and it's just a name for like cornbread, but it also means like kind of like really wholesome, but not all there upstairs. Oh. So it, like you just like Charlton Heston was just a brainless fucking idiot. And he must have been on this set. And that's why they called him that. And was to the bitter end from what I yeah. understand about yeah. Charles Heston. From my, cold, Char from my cold dead hands. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> yeah. So Corn I don't know. I mean, I, Overall, it's actually funny. There's these movies are long. There's some of the this is some of the most like the most viewing time we've had for one episode yeah. between these two movies. It's a lot. Thank you. 
Um, no, and yet I feel you. like there's not much to say about the story. Like the story of the eagle is so basic. I really don't feel like there's... So you're using basic as a pejorative. And after watching Ben... Maybe it's because the order I watched it in, you probably did the same thing. But after watching Ben-Hur, I was happy to have a basic storyline to just watch a character go through. I did Ben-Hur I second. I, cool. I did Ben Hur first, and after Ben Hur, I was craving what I thought the eagle was going to be. <laughs> yeah. So when it wasn't that, I was so disappointed. This is yeah. another week where I came in here being like, I know what these guys like, and it's not Ben Hur because that's what I don't like. I'm not saying I, I love Ben Hur. Okay. <laughs> I didn't yeah. love it, but I'm I am honestly as surprised as you that I enjoyed it as much as I did. Yeah. Yeah. I thought yeah. I was gonna be ripping my hair and out. The eagle kinda let me down. I'd seen the eagle before, so I knew exactly what the eagle was uh going into it. So maybe right. maybe I knew. Maybe. Ah, yeah, of course. That's that's an unfair yeah. advantage. And it's like some, years ago. There's some stuff in it, like um uh in the eagle that made me like I didn't like any of the Again, at, at what I wanted to like in the movie, I thought there was going to be kind of a fun sort of action-esque movie, and all the fight scenes kind of suck balls. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did. They were really close. They were really we'll close. We'll get to that. Well, I mean, I can sort of talk about it. Story? Like, yeah, cause, that's cause story. Because some of them have a story element, right? And it's more yeah. of the story aspect of them, right? Like, they looked fine. Like, look, yeah, they were shot too close, and it was too flighty, and you could barely even tell what anyone was doing mechanically. And that's just bad fight making on camera. But, I mean, like, story-wise, the, the push at the first part of the movie that they make in the armored shell out to the prisoners... Testudo, yeah. ...is, I'm sorry, that's complete bullshit. I... There's no, first of all, where are their spears? That the Pila? Yeah, I don't know. That's you would use spears for that. It just wouldn't, they're the not. The Testudo gives you a defensive. Okay, everyone who doesn't give a shit about military military history, skip 30 seconds, but the Testudo gives you a defensive bonus like that because everyone's on top of you and you have your short gladius to stab out through the holes and, and pick away at them like that. Yeah, but it there makes were sense. Like four to five times more people on the other side. And if it, they were using it offensively, reason. they were, anyway, it was just, I didn't buy it for a fucking second. Okay. And then more than anything, that final fight at the end is a total clusterfuck where there's like yes, 18 it, it's Romans dreadful. tops and then there's like 50 of these other dudes and you see a bunch of the Romans dying and it looks like they lose the fight and then it's like it fades up from black and there's five of them left standing there and they won and I was like, no, you didn't. <laughs> well, yeah, the, no. the worst that part of that stupid. too is that is that the very first thing you see when the SEAL people um, charge them <laughs> is like five over. of them jump over them and take them from behind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like which you've lost the line, but the line breaks. It shows the line breaking afterwards, which which is terrible. Yeah, but, but so many of them are dead right off the top. Like that's yeah. that maybe, like fight maybe. over. Oh, maybe. Sean, no, no, that was it. I, I yeah. thought it was like I was like if I were a kid, I would buy this. But like anyone who can see like what what they showed me on film, they showed me a fight that they were losing and that they lost, and then they were like, ah, they won. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, and they had the whatever. music for a losing fight. That, that I, I agree that fight was was bollocks, as was pretty much everything. But I'm gonna stand by that testudo technique Fine. as a like as a like way to show the panache. It's it's more a it's more a narrative tool to show like this is why the Romans are this far yeah. into territory they have no excuse being. It's because their military is fucking great. Yeah. And I get that. And I, yeah. look, I can maybe say that when maybe that worked, because maybe, you know, there's other psychological things of seeing that come at you at that time, but the silly people, I was like, no. Chariots, another connector. The chariots. Mm -hmm. Fuck, that chariot scene was it was great. Wild. And it I have was... so many visual and other notes to say about that scene. Yeah. But even as um, story, like even as story, yeah. Uh, the chariot scene was probably the best story tool used in the entire 220 minutes of Ben Hur. Yeah. And that's why it's famous, I guess. <laughs> Dan. I would more so just like to talk about the fact that Channing Tatum, whether he Tatum won or is. lost that fight at the very end of the movie, should have yeah. been fucking dead. Yes. Yeah. God works like, in mysterious ways. Fuck, fuck you, Wait, did you not Sean. see Jesus in the background? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was there the whole time. <laughs> the Citizen Gain of the Week is... 